Let's build a security camera system similar to the one in Five Nights at Freddy's. But first, I have an announcement. Hello, everyone. Today is really a wonderful day because my channel has reached 1,000 subscribers and it's still growing. This success is a story we've all written together. And I want to give endless thanks to all of you who have been by my side on this journey, supporting me with your comments and adding value to every video. This channel actually started with the dream of bringing you together through game development, learning, and knowledge sharing. At this point I've reached today, it's all about your energy and contribution. Seeing how we've turned into such a big family makes me incredibly proud. But this is just the beginning. I have very big goals, and I know my journey is going to be a long one. I'm excited to move forward with new projects, new games, and new successes. Now it's time for a brand new step. I'm developing a new game, and I plan to share this process with you through live streams. We will build the process together, and I will include the names of everyone who supports in the credits section of the game. Also, 100th anniversary of my first game. I want to give you a copy. The only thing you need to do for this is to send me an email. The subject, give me my game. I will immediately send the Steam code to the first 100 people. Play this game so you can understand what kind of game you shouldn't make. And your contribution is very valuable on the journey to reach much bigger goals. So don't forget to leave a comment about what you would like to see in the next video. You can be sure that every idea will add great value to my journey. I'm very happy that you are a part of this community. Keep working hard for even greater successes. See you in the new videos. Now we can continue with our video. Firstly, we will need two blueprint actors. One is the control desk and the other is the security cam. Let's open the security cam. Let's add a camera. From the post process settings, select color grading, then global and set the saturation to zero. This will make the camera image black and white. Let's go to the lens tab and set the minimum and maximum brightness values to 0 0.8. Let's add vignette in the image effects tab. You can change these settings as you wish. Now let's place the security cameras on our stage. I will make a random placement for now. In my scene, there is a table and monitors on it. I will put the table here in the control desk blueprint. In the previous videos, we made a simple interaction system. I will use the system there. If you wish, you can watch that video from the link in the description and integrate the system simply. Let's implement BPI interaction under interfaces from the panel on the right side of the class settings tab in the control desk.
Right-click on the Interact interface on the left side and select Implement Event. We need a bool variable, isCamOnline. Get and connect it to the branch node. If it returns false, we will set the bool variable true. We need to call the get player controller node and disable input. We need to restrict movement when looking at the cameras. Target should be get player character. Set ignore, look input to true. We will call enable input. But this time, the target should be self. So we will only be able to use inputs in this blueprint. Now let's create another custom event. Let's call it end viewing. With this event, we will be able to stop watching the cameras. Let's set the bool variable to false. We will also reverse the above operations. Let's bind the end viewing event to true above. Now we need to access the cameras. Let's connect the get all actors of class node to the event begin play node. Because we have more than one camera, we need to reach all of them. We will choose the blueprint we first created as the actor class. Let's keep the returned results in a variable. Now we need a function. Let's call it view from cam. Let's create a variable of type integer. Call the get player controller node and connect it to the set view target with blend node. Security cams variable holds more than one actor. So we bind it to get a copy node and use the cam index variable as index. We bind the result to new view target. Blend should remain zero because I want a sudden transition. 
I'm adding a return node. We're done here. Let's call the function after enable input. Now we need to be able to switch between cameras. I will use the space key for this. Let's call the cam index. Let's set it by adding one because every index starts from zero. After the set node, let's connect the function. Every time we press the space key, we will switch to the other camera. Let's give it a try. E key is the interaction key in my case. Yes, an error occurs after the last camera. We should not exceed the number of cameras. There should be as many jumps as there are cameras. Let's connect the cam index in the set node to a select node. Let's connect the array variable to the length node. So that we know how many there are. We need to subtract one from the length result because length starts from one. Index starts from zero. If the index result is greater than the array result, we'll say. If true, it will remain zero. If false, we will bind the result from the index. Yes, now we need to exit. Let's connect the set view target with blend node to the end of the end viewing event. And select player character as new view target. I will use the backspace key to exit. Let's connect the end viewing event. If you're finding value in these videos, hit that subscribe button and drop a like if you love the content and ring the bell to stay updated. See you in the restaurant at the end of the universe.